guys, I'm back again with another video. I am here with the Harley Davidson Cena 30K helmet. Now this helmet is a Harley Davidson helmet with the built-in Cena, which is the headset unit. For riders, you know, if you're riding on a motorcycle, you want to get some connectivity with intercoms or Bluetooth and things of that nature. Also with these headset unit, the first thing that I want to say, if you have plans to connect these headsets, whether it's this helmet or the Cena headset unit, that you can buy standalone that you can that you can attach to any helmet or if you bought this particular helmet that has the integrated headset already built into the helmet you're going to need a whim you're going to need a wireless headset interface module you're going to need it if you do not have a built-in wireless interface module on your motorcycle this helmet will not connect directly to your motorcycle meaning that if you have one of the newer motorcycles that have the screens where you can connect the bluetooth connect your phone directly to the screen on your motorcycle street glass road glass and all the other motorcycles that have that new boom system or that boom audio system or that boom audio radio available on the motorcycle and you can connect to it if you do not have a wireless module on the motorcycle, a whim, a wireless headset interface module on the motorcycle, this helmet will not connect directly to the motorcycle via Bluetooth. You have to connect it to that wireless interface module and that's an extra 300 bucks from Harley Davidson just for the part. And also you have to have it installed. If you do not know how to install it yourself and you want Harley Davidson to install it, they're gonna charge you maybe an hour and a half, two hours labor. So you're looking at about another 500 bucks just to have that module installed so you will be able to connect helmet now is the helmet worth it i would say so so let's get into some of the features that it have i already unboxed it but some of the things that it comes with as you can see it comes with the dust bag which the motorcycle helmet came inside of that it also came with of course some pairing instructions but i'm going to get into how to pair that and also to these Instructions definitely let you know the parts that you need to install to get the helmet to connect directly to the motorcycle if you wanted to do that. You have a big owner's manual for it. And also too, they did include, I'm not sure if this is gonna come with all of them, but it was in the box. I did get a fog resistant lens and clear that came with this particular helmet. And this helmet is now on the Harley Davidson website for sure, retailing at about 550 bucks. Um, I was able to get the helmet a little bit cheaper because I found it and I ordered it off of a Harley Davidson dealership website. So you can take a look and see if you can get a hundred bucks off so you can find them a little bit cheaper than the Harley Davidson website. Um, so do take a look at that. But this is the actual helmet. It has the built-in Cena 30K. On this side, you have the charger port and you have the intercom mesh system, the on and off button for the mesh. Now, what I do like about the helmet in particular, the biggest thing is that everything is built in. You don't have to have the side unit attached to the helmet. So that's the biggest thing. And also too, this helmet will give you Apple CarPlay. Just like the Cena 30Ks that you attach, this helmet is a Cena 30K built in. It will give you Apple CarPlay. If you have a CBO, if you purchase a CBO, you have a whim or should have a whim already installed. You should already have the wireless headset interface module already installed on those. Apparently the CBO comes with that, but if not, you would definitely have to have it installed if you want to have this helmet paired directly to your motorcycle. Now, Apple CarPlay. With Apple CarPlay, I know a lot of people are adding the little jumpers that you can buy for $15 on Amazon and things like that. And you just connect that to the motorcycle. You take the fairing off, as you've seen the videos, if you were trying to get Apple CarPlay on your motorcycle and you install this little jumper connector to the radio and you're able to get Apple CarPlay that way. But with this helmet, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's not hard at all. If you do have a whim or you have the whim installed on your motorcycle or you plan to get the whim wireless headset interface module installed on your motorcycle it will give you apple carplay as soon as you do it all you have to do is connect the helmet and by doing that all you do is hold down the plus in the middle button Preparing headset. all right hello and once it come on you hold down the middle button for about 12 seconds Keep holding when it says that. Configuration menu. 
configuration menu is the one you're looking for. Now, once it's in configuration menu, hit the plus sign. Phone pairing. And now it's in phone pairing. Once it's flashing red and blue like that, you're ready to connect it to the motorcycle. And it's just that simple. So, all right, and if you want to turn the helmet off, you just simply hold down the two buttons for one second again, and that will power off the helmet. Let's connect it to the motorcycle. All right, guys, so once you have the helmet in pairing mode, only thing you have to do next is go to settings. So I'm gonna click home, go to settings. All right, I'm gonna scroll down to wireless headset setup. Now, like I said, if you do not have a wireless headset interface module installed, if you do not have a WIM installed, you will not see this option. You can purchase a brand new motorcycle or the motorcycle that you have, Street Glide, Road Glide, you will not have wireless headset set up if the motorcycle do not have a WIM already installed. Now, this one I had to have it installed. The WIM, the module costs about 300 bucks and costs about another $200 for the harnesses and stuff like that, plus labor to have Harley Davidson installed. Total came out to about $500 for me to have the WIM installed on this motorcycle. If you have a CVO, you should already have this because CVOs come with this WIM already installed. So you would see this wireless headset setup. So once you have that installed, you connect this and they do have to flash this head unit. Once you install it, if you do know how to install the WIM yourself, apparently the system, this radio would have to be flashed so it can recognize that you have installed that. So they recommend taking it to a Harley dealership for that. So once you have it installed, it's just simple. Once you have the helmet in pair mode, just click pair, and then it should pop up on the screen here. You select the Boom Audio helmet from this system here. And then once you do that, you'll be able to manage, you know, your helmet and everything from this. From that point, you should see rider headset, boom audio, right? That's what you want to connect to. That's all right. And that's how you connect the helmet directly to the motorcycle. So the next thing is notice how I have my music, navigation, and phone. Okay. I have my music, navigation, and phone. But once I plug in this to the iPhone, Okay, it switched from music, navigation to CarPlay. When I click on CarPlay, as you can see, I now have Apple CarPlay on the motorcycle. And that's because it have a whim. You install the wireless headset interface module. Once you do that, it automatically gives you Apple CarPlay. You connect the helmet to the motorcycle and plug in through USB to your phone because this is a wired connection to get Apple CarPlay, you do need a wired connection. But as you can see, you do have Apple CarPlay without having to have a jumper installed. You know, it's just automatic. If the helmet's connected to the bike and you plug the USB into the phone, just like you would in the car, it will automatically give you Apple CarPlay. You don't have to do anything else. All you have to do is plug it in. If your motorcycle has this whim, wireless headset interface module in your helmet or you have one of these headsets the Cena 30k connected to the motorcycle it will give you apple carplay so i did decide to do a video on this helmet because the videos that i saw it seems to be the same exact helmet from the videos that i seen that were at least two or three years old it appears to be the same exact helmet but if you are brand new and you're looking into this particular helmet here's a look at the helmet today recently same exact helmet i do like the fact that it's built in i do like the fact that you apple carplay but please keep in mind that you will need that wireless headset interface module if you plan to connect this directly to the motorcycle if you don't have the screen and you wanted this helmet you can most certainly connect this helmet directly to your phone you can pair it with any phone any device that has bluetooth if you want you can listen to your music through the speakers inside of the helmet and you would not need a whim for that if you just wanted to listen to the speakers answer your phone calls and listen to everything inside of the helmet you can connect it directly to your phone for Apple CarPlay, connecting it to the motorcycle directly and those things, you will need that wireless headset interface module. If not, definitely compatible with any phone connected via Bluetooth. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Till next time, see you in the next video.